It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a can of Three Taverns Craft Beers and it's the Rowdy and Proud. This is the Melon Berry Citrus Juice Explosion IPA coming in at 6% ABV in a 12 fluid ounce can. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. The beer was kindly sent to us by Jordan in America. Thank you very much, Jordan. It's such a pleasure to review local craft micro kind of American beers. It's amazing, you know. Love your Sierra Nevadas, your Stones, um, all the other breweries in America we get to try. Uh, what was it recently? A other half from America. That was good. But this feels different. This feels, this definitely feels like I would, I can only get this beer if it's sent by somebody in America. I mean, I've never, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, it's impossible to know all of the breweries in the world. I've not heard of Three Taverns Craft Beers. And it's, it's just a fantastic situation to be in, to be able to try all of these wonderful craft beers from around the world. Look at that haze. So thank you, Jordan. Look at that beautiful haze bomb of a beer. We got a one finger white head, um, slow moving carbonation, hazy amber colored beer. And I, if you if you're a long time follower of my channel, I always say I love these juicy kind of orange colored American IPAs, double IPAs, and I always go to the part where, but there's a problem, and that is that some of the hops have dropped out of them by the time I get to it. Because this has been picked up and sent to me super fresh, which I only kind of wished for the other week on the channel. Boof, here it is, we got one. Thank you, Jordan. Let's get the aroma. Hmm. Lovely. Really got me salivating here. Juicy, tropical. Still a little bit of that sweetness in there. That typical American kind of IPA sweetness. Kind of pepperiness as well, spiciness coming through. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Of, of course, and your passion fruits and your mangoes and your grapefruits as well. Tropical fruits, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Oh, I'm going straight back in. Lovely. Mm. Incredibly, incredibly juiced up beer. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. Lovely bitterness on the back end. Fantastic, big, spicy, peppery bitterness. Sweetness to begin with over there. Bitterness over there. It's a really well-balanced beer. It's definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, a classic now. I'm going to say classic now because they've been doing it for over 30 years. A classic American-style IPA where you, you get that lovely kind of... As they said on the back of the can there, rowdy, that rowdy bitterness on the back of the palate with the, the sweetness to begin with, just to give it a bit of balance. Lovely peppery, spicy flavours coming through. Orange peel, fleshy blood orange, grapefruit. Oh, it's good. It's really good. And a good, a good mouthfeel as well. A good creamy kind of oaty kind of lactosey. Not I'm not gonna go as far as saying a milkshake IPA. I'm gonna go nowhere near to saying it's, it's as far as a milkshake IPA, but it's it's certainly got a little bit of lactose in, a little bit of oats, just to give it a bit of mouthfeel. 
You feel the carbonation moving on the inside of the mouth, pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth, and then releasing all of that flavour, that kind of melon and juicy kind of grapefruits and orange peels and great lacing on the glass. Have a look as I roll the beer around in the glass. It looks wonderful. Great stuff, great stuff. Melon, berry, citrus, juice explosion, and it's been brewed. Um, we are the A from way down south, and we are there, or we are here, rowdy and proud. It did say on the side, ah, here we are. Uh, India Pale Ale, brewed with whole melon, mosaic, and amarillo. Great stuff. Great stuff, and that's it. Is, is there any kind of the oh, just a government warning on the side of the can here? Um, yeah, beautiful. What a beautiful beer! An absolute pleasure to get a beer from America, which we, you know, it would be literally impossible unless unless we jumped on a plane and went off to America and started driving around drinking all of their beer. That would be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> but until that happens. Um, we, you know, it's fantastic that people like Jordan contribute to the channel. Cheers. Let's rate it. <sighs> Juicy, tropical, well-balanced, fantastic taste in IPA. Really is. I like that enough to give it. A Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!